Okay, I'm surprised there's no... I didn't... If you find a video, fucking send it to me. Because um, this was back in 06. So when I was... I met David Moore of PSI fame. He was the builder for RE Audio in Las Vegas. And through a mutual acquaintance, I got to get a factory tour and uh, meet David and hang out for a little bit. And one of the, one of the characters that was in the area, I think for, also for CES, was Hamby. Now, I forget if, I think Hamby is his last name, um, but uh, he was, God, I guess he was on drugs or something. I don't know. He seemed like it. But he was talking about how RE had stolen his dual gap design and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, no, they kind of stole it or borrowed it from Dan Wiggins because I think uh, either Dan designed the original RE Destroyer and some other stuff. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways. Uh, Hamby had created his own do-it-yourself SPL meter and I'm surprised people aren't still selling them or, or putting them together all it is and when I because I bought one I think for uh, 80 bucks and when I got it I was like this is a piece of shit yeah, I could have made this myself so all he did was order these right here these are 50 millimeter about two inch piezoelectric uh, wafers now if you know about uh, piezos you can use them as a speaker as well. If you apply voltage to them, AC voltage, they'll make uh, noises like a, like a speaker does. In fact, that's what a piezoelectric tweeter is, right, from Motorola. It also goes the other way. So if you put pressure on it, it'll produce a voltage, okay? And so basically what you do is you hook up two wires to this, you put it in a box. Hamby's box was probably, like it was just a project box that you buy from online or whatever, somebody doesn't matter it's like a small box it's probably six by six by two and uh, you cut a hole in the side and then you super glue uh, or super glue or um, I think he did a, a hot glue the piezoelectric wafer in place and then you run the wires out and I think for the terminal he just used an RCA jack which uh, seals it up and then what you do is you basically hook it up to a, a digital voltmeter and then you set it and the way that you set it is you, you basically have to calibrate it. You use a known tone. You can use another SPL meter to set that one, right? You can say, all right, so let me play a 90 dB uh, pitch at whatever, 40 hertz or something like that. And so then you see what it registers on uh, the regular, volt, or not voltmeter, the dB meter. And then you, you see how much voltage came across the voltmeter. And then you go, okay, so 90 dB is equal to this many volts, right? And then I forget, it's like a logarithmic math to show the difference and you can, you can do it yourself. You can basically chart it out on a fucking piece of graph paper. That's why when people get real serious about a, a dB meter or dB drag, and this is the same thing that uh, Wayne Harris does as well. Just Wayne does a fancier version of it with a Cat5 cable. So you can do this at home. I don't give a shit about db or db drag it's kind of stupid to me but if you want to blow your money on this and and be the the, the awesome guy uh, the only guy that has you know that can measure dbs in your neighborhood you can fucking do it yourself this is by uh stimic stem uh and this is their piezoelectric 50 millimeter disc i'll put this link in the uh description and you can do your own piezoelectric spl meter so congratulations i love you guys smarten the fuck up don't whatever do this if you want. I don't care. Bye.